Within Getty, DevOps has been something that we have been focused on across our entire organization, and Puppet and other tools have helped us remove lines, remove barriers between what has historically been an operations-focused team and a development-focused team. Working in the same tool and helping each other be successful with the same tool and the same capabilities allows people to cross fences and cross barriers and work together to achieve a longer common objective. Yeah, so our, our part of the organization tends to be very infrastructure focused. So uh, bringing DevOps into the conversation with Puppet has enabled us to not only break down some of the silos that exist within the, our infrastructure side of the organization, but also gives us the opportunity to collaborate with our customers who are the application owners. And it'll improve our, our service time and our ability to get new applications up and going for our, our shared customers. Uh, a traditional enterprise IT um, has many silos and um, for us to be successful we had to break down those silos and, and make Puppet available to all the infrastructure teams and to enable their automating, uh, automation as well. Um, another thing is we were able to break down the application developer versus infrastructure engineer silo and now um, application developers are also using Puppet to um, provision their infrastructure workloads in Amazon. In many ways, Puppet kind of enforces that, that DevOps mentality that says, this is the configuration that you're going to have on this system. Puppet forces you to get into the room and to have that conversation with people and say, this is what the kernel tunings are going to look like. This is what the sys controls are going to be. This is what the U limits are going to be set to. You can't set it this way and then set it this way somewhere else you have to plan in advance and kind of layer what your configuration is going to look like. And the end result is that generally everybody's really happy with the result. It leads to a single model and a single deliverable, which is the server's desired configuration state. DevOps to us has changed the way that we interact with the business. Uh, we, they used to have to understand much more of the technical details, but at this point it's all abstracted. And really, we get to have a conversation about the business using their terms uh, and, and talking to them about the experience that they want. And that allows us um, to, to ra you know, raise the level of our conversation um, to, to their level. And, and it also allows us to be more nimble in how we respond to their, their needs, their initiatives.